Okay, everybody, I wanted to put this video out for a trade alert. Massive, massive breakout on wheat futures. I think that's coming. I put out, uh, I think, a video today earlier or yesterday. I talked about um, short side trade on futures, and that's fine short term. Maybe down to this lower part of this ascending triangle. Okay, I already took some profit on this trade. You can see it's already come down a little bit here. And uh, I may reacquire, I may not. But let's talk about this breakout. This is going to be a huge, I believe, a huge breakout to the upside on wheat futures. A huge opportunity, I think, is coming. Let's take a look at that right now. So you could look at either the forward slash ZW, which is the big contracts, or you look at forward slash XW, like I am here for E mini wheat futures. Doesn't really matter. Either one will do. Now going back here to May, you can see this this was the the peak. And we're talking about an ascending triangle. So how let's let's just talk about how that's defined. So there's a point here where it touches. Okay, back there in May. It touches here again in August. And it almost touched right there um, like late September. And it just touched again uh, just a few days ago. So that would be probably like whatever that was, the 24th or 25th or something like that of October, okay? So you got four places where a touch, right? One, two, three, and now we got four. This is a massive time frame, right? So a lot of people don't catch these kind of things because you really got to look at things on a very large scale, okay? So ascending triangle, well, how does it form? Well, it, the price can come from above or below. In this case, it came from above all the way down to here and uh, looks like about July, beginning of July. Okay, made its way all the way back up in August. Now it came down, touched in September, a little rebound, touched again in September, all the way back up. And looks like late September, early October, came back down. And now we're up here. Typical, I mean, it's... This is a classic ascending triangle where you have a flat top, okay, and lower, I mean higher lows, okay. That's a classic ascending triangle, okay. So that's how it works. Now, before we talk about, you know, how I got to this uh, breakout price up here, let's look at the volume because this is really, really important. Now, it may, may be kind of hard to see, but... You, there's some blue lines here, right? This is all volume. Here, here's blue line, here's a blue line, three of them, okay? And I'm drawing the yellow line, so forget about the candlesticks, just focus on the blue vo high volume spikes. So there was one right there, looks like in May, one right here in maybe early August, and another one right here looks like late September, maybe right at the very beginning of October. So we can connect those three with, the, with this descending line, yellow line. Okay, so it's clear that the peaks over this time frame for volume have been descending. Okay, and then you'll see another another yellow line here. Well, I just eyeballed the average. Okay, I can kind of do those things if you're doing this for a while. You kind of can pick it out. So there's an average somewhere about right there. Okay. So that really helps to see that we have an ascending triangle, but on descending volume. That is huge. Okay, that will adds credence to the fact that we're going to have a breakout to the upside and it's going to be really soon. I'm surprised it hasn't happened already. Usually, you know, we get these ascending triangles about 75% of the way through the triangle is when you'll get the breakout. Okay, right now, uh, we're further than that. Okay, let's switch over to a spreadsheet and I'm going to show you the numbers. Right, so now here we are at the spreadsheet. You can see I've got up here, wheat breakout upward, okay? Declining volume on an ascending triangle, yeah. So I got two breakouts defined here. Now the first one, they're both being pulled from this, uh, uh, from the, both have the same high, 766.75, but they're being pulled from different lows because one of the triangles is bigger and further back than the other one. So let's look at breakout number one first. That's this one. You can see the low was at 
607 and 7 8 the high 766 and 3 quarters that's a difference of 158 points the breakout obviously is up because we're talking about an ascending triangle now based on a lot of data that's been done for decades a good breakout target rate is about 70%. I just have it here in decimal format of 0.70, okay? So that would give us a breakout target of 877.96, okay? That's the more aggressive of the two. So you could set your breakout target there if you want to. Now, there's a smaller triangle within the, the larger one, and that's we'll call that breakout number two. This is if you want to be a little more conservative. The low started at 679. It's the same high as 766 and three quarters. The difference there, which really can think of a difference as, as height, right? It's the height. From the top of one triangle all the way down to another within that ascending triangle, right? So this is really height. Also, of course, the breakout direction is still up. It's the same target breakout rate of 0.70 or 70%. That gives us in the green cell here, a break a breakout target price of 828 for wheat okay so I'm targeting because the, the the total time of of this ascending triangle has been about uh, let's see May to from May all the way to no, almost to November right so almost six months so just assuming that it plays out that long to get to get to this breakout target price which it may or may not, but that would put us somewhere around May 2022, okay? So I count the bars, all right, for both those breakout one and two, and 147 bars, that just simply means the bars on the, on the chart, you know, if you've, if you've got, the, if you've got the, uh, the chart in front of you, you know, you've got days going by, right? These are trading days going by. So 147 bars just basically equates to trading days, okay? So like I said, normally the breakout would be about 75% 75, 75 where you want to see that breakout happen. Right now we're at 82%, again in decimal format, okay? Let me switch to like uh, kind of a purple, maybe it's a little bit better. Yeah. So we're at 83%, okay? Normally 75 is your breakout at, uh, target. What am I talking about? I'm talking about you got the you got the ascending triangle looks like this, right? Sorry about that line, but let's make see if I can make this a little better. So that's your ascending triangle, right? The price came down in here like this. It started bouncing around in there. And we're over in this area. Normally, you'd see a breakout probably somewhere like that. It'd start breaking out. But it didn't. This one came back down, up, and now we're in, we're in this final. It might not even get down here, guys and gals. It might not even get down to this, to the bottom of this triangle. Okay? Which is somewhere I'm estimating about 11, um, November, November 10th, 2021, right? Somewhere around there is where I'm estimating that this would come down and touch. But it may not even do that. It may just come down halfway into this and then off to the races. Okay? I don't really know what's going to happen there, but this breakout looks pretty likely. Okay? Especially since we've got... Okay, let's switch back over the chart. Switch back over the chart and I'll, uh, I'll finish up this video. Right, so let's talk about, you know, uh, the breakout. I'm just guessing, guys, is going to start somewhere right in here. You know, that's that. That's somewhere between where we're at now and this uh, this November. Let's see, I think it's November 10th. Let me just check the, the uh, cycle here. I love when it gives me that. starts flashing, getting weird. Let's just check it. Yeah. November 10th. Yeah, so... Um, I'm not really sure I want to wait all the way, all the way to November 10th. I think it's kind of risky. You know, it may not, you know, so in other words, you, you would expect price to come down like this, maybe kind of come up one more time and then down in November 10th. Eh. Eh. With this tight of a triangle, eh. uh, no, I'm more inclined to think whenever this finishes and I'll throw in the, I'll throw in the technical indicators here in a moment, but whenever this, this comes down and finishes, Okay. I think that's it. The next time it starts coming up, it's going to break out and go above this top of this triangle. Now, obviously, this is just, you know, a, a perfect uh, a, a 
an ascension, right? But it's we know it's not going to do that, right? It's going to come up like that. It might come back down below this line. You know, might even come pretty far down, whatever. Who knows? Come way up like that, far around for a while, way down. You know, whatever it's going to do between now and then, right? And make its way up here to 828. All right? That's the first uh, target price. So let's talk about that. Well, futures, if you're going to trade futures, the May contracts. Okay, I'd be going long on May. And there are contracts available for that. May of 2022. you got two choices. You can trade the ZW and hold them. Or you can trade the E-mini. Okay, if you want to do the E-mini. Th this, for every one of these contracts, it's, I believe, five of those. It's Right? You understand? So the, the E-mini ones, which what we're looking at here, they're one-fifth the size... Okay, one fifth the size of the ZW contracts. So if you want to save a few bucks on your commissions and whatever, okay, you could trade the big contract. Just understand that, you know, uh, you're going to have a little less flexibility to taper off positions if you're holding big contracts compared to small. So those are things you got to think about with risk management, guys and gals. Okay, I'm not going to get into risk management in this video, but you should really understand risk management. So being able to part, being able to break up your position size. And taper off or add to it is an, is an important factor of risk management. Okay, that's another video we'll do another time. So the futures contracts May May 2022 look really good. I think that's a good target. There's I think there's also March maybe. So if you want to target March, you could do that. Okay, I, I think May is a little bit better, but March might be okay too. Okay, for those who want to trade options, okay, the options on the futures, that's available too. And yes, there actually is. I believe, well, you know what? I haven't checked. I haven't checked, but I believe there is May 2022 contracts. I don't know the strike prices. I haven't checked. For those that want to look, you can go to CME Group, okay, and just put in there, you know, um, in your favorite search engine, CME, I mean, C, yeah, listen to me, see, CME, and then you just go, you know, XW. Okay, and that space XW, and it'll come up. And you can look at the specs. Okay, and I think it'll say futures or options. There's like a little, there's like a little, uh, little, a little splitter. One side is futures, you know, something like that. And the other side is options. I think you can just pick whichever one. Okay, but if you pick the options one, then you're going to probably see the strike prices in there. Okay, or you can do it in your favorite platform if your platform shows that you got the data for it. But if you don't have the data, you can go check out the CME Group website and you can look at the specs and the calendars and all that and the strike prices okay i'm pretty sure they got it there okay so those are two choices for those who want to trade options or those that want to trade futures you can, either one heck you could do both if you have enough margin and let and you know margin on your account you could do it you know i, I said today or yesterday I talked about taking a short side trade i already closed out for like a 200 200 little 200 dollar profit which was really nice okay i might reacquire this down into here and i might not i'm not sure okay um, once this, once the big daddy comes down and touches this and touches this line, I would not want to be short any longer. Even if, even if the stochastic's like hanging around in this area, like it only comes down to here, it doesn't get to the bottom. I would not want to be short anymore. Okay. So th I think short for another day or two at the most, you know, it may, it could be a little longer. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell what, what the, you know, this may, this may come down and retract a little bit. So. But in any case, I'll be keeping a very close eye on this when the Big Daddy comes out and touches. From that point on, whenever price gets down to wherever it's going to come down, whether it touches the bottom of this triangle or not, I would think long right there looks really good to me. Okay, and the stochastic may not may not come down and touch this this uh, you know this negative forty down here, this bottom line may not get down there. It may not do one of these deals. It may just kind of come down like this and kind of start going up. Okay, and the Big Daddy will probably do it before before the, the stochastic momentum index does it. Okay, looking at the the Mac, the big Mac daddy, Mac D. Um, you know, well, there you go. You, it just looks like it's, you know, it looks kind of like what volume has been, right? The volume has been, let me get a, let me get a draw a line here. Just grab a line. Look at that. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Look at this line right here. It's just been going down. Line going down. Same as the volume, right? I mean, same as the candlesticks. Even on the Mac Daddy, you've got 
uh, lower. Well, I'm sorry. No, it's it's actually the opposite. On the Mac Daddy, we're getting we're getting a, a well, basically we're getting a wedge or a symmetrical triangle. Okay, take your pick. Right? <laughs> Even the Mac Daddy, symmetrical triangle, you know. Some type of wedge, whatever you want to call it. So even it's even it's got a kind of this squeeze looking geometrical shape going on here, right? Look at this over here, guys. Let me get the let me get the pencil. Look at over here. A thousand and five. Way back here in like late 2009. Look at that. Even over here in almost in 2011. It was way up there at 900. Way up here at 900. This is right at 900 right here. Okay, and we're we're in inflation, and in, we're in inflation mode. What does that mean? That means commodities, and wheat wheat is not wheat is a commodity. It, you know, it's technically yeah, it falls into futures, but it's strictly it's it's a commodity. Okay, not like S and P five hundred futures. I mean, they're not a commodity. There are futures, but they're definitely not a commodity. Not not really. Okay, there there is a difference. Wheat is a commodity, something we put our hands on, something that we eat. It's tangible, right? Silver, gold, all that stuff that's tangible, those are those are commodities. You can physically put your hand on it. Okay. The the the, the whole bread, crackers, everything runs on wheat. <laughs> right? We make it make a lot of food out of wheat. So yeah, is it gonna get up there? Um I believe it is. Here we come, 828. Yeah, it may play out over a few months. I'm going to start from formulating my plan to, to think, look at my margin, look at all my leverage, start thinking about what I'm going to do. Whew. There it is, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the video. That's the trade alert. Wheat looks awesome. I think it's going to break out to the upside. It's going to 828 or better, baby. I'm telling you, this thing is going to happen. I'm feeling very confident about it. All right. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm going to be putting out some more videos. I had a request about natural gas. So for this, one of my subscribers, yeah, I'll get to it when I can. Yes, I'm still working on the secret cycle. That thing is, oh my gosh, that secret cycle. It's got my head spinning. It's so, so just mind-blowing. Okay, subscribe to the YouTube channel, guys and gals. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to click that bell to be notified of all the videos as I put them out. We'll talk to you all real soon again next time.